Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, it's the Buff Kick here, joined by... What up guys, it's David again, and we have... It's me, it's me, it's Ian Stobie. Yes. Back I'm... again to get some booby. Wow. You never know. Maybe? I've got no words. No words? Mm, he's got a booby in his mouth. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, no, I was going to say something there, but we really need to clean up this podcast. <laughs> I'm saying we really need to clean up this podcast. There's only one person that needs to clean up. His we back. need to sack David. What? Right? <coughs> well, no. You need to be less of a heel. Yes. You've quite finished coughing. Your guts up there. Uh, Is that co- choking down the bobies? <laughs> I knew something was there. He oh, coughed and a bit of spunk flew across the room. Oh <laughs> no! He's just got to go that bit lower, hasn't he? See when he heard him gargling earlier. <laughs> anyway, well, why are we here? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> So we're here to talk about Ian's sexual habits. Um, <laughs> Sick, man. Honestly. How can you do that and talk at the same time? That's amazing. <laughs> Better than any girlfriend ever had. <laughs> anyway, why are we here? We're here to talk about a little show called The Defenders. Just yes. kicked off Defenders of the Earth. Defenders. Wait, was I watching the yeah, right thing? Magic With Mind the Merciless. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And Phantom, <laughs> Magic was my favourite as well. Lothar. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You've got it, sus. That's Lothar. Defenders, defenders of, of the Earth Defenders. Master of magic spells and illusions. There's always one. <laughs> <laughs> I've got to get my soul in. Man, Drake. <laughs> I've got to get my shit in. <laughs> that, oh. That's such a good show. Anyway, we watched another show called The Defenders this week. It was it? live action. Are you amazed? I fitted in eight episodes since the release date to now. I thought there was no way you were going to be watching it. Oh man! I was... What did you? How have you lied? How are you lying to me right now? How am I lying? I can't lie. I don't lie. Okay, so you've actually watched them all. I've watched all eight episodes of the Defender. Not on fast forward. Not on some sort of skip. Not like each I'll episode is in two minutes. Okay, okay. In case you guys are, are, are confused, this will be a spoiler review of The Defenders. Yeah, we're not going into detail about every episode, every happening. We're probably just going to scatter brain around the whole season. Well, I've, I've actually got um, uh, notes for each episode. Uh, okay. I've, got, I've got notes for every episode, so I wonder if we can maybe do it. Oh, no, I deleted them. I'm only joking. Oh, fucking hell, I can't remember that far back. Yeah. <laughs> Well, episode one was the introduction, bringing you back to all the characters, showing you how their lives had kind of moved on since the respective series. It started with... Series. Series. This is a serious There we go, found it. So it starts with Danny and uh, Colleen fighting a mysterious couple of people in the shadows. Yep. Uh, in the subway. Vietnam, wasn't it? Uh, yeah, it could have been, I can't remember. Cambodia or something. Cambodia. Now, just real quick, just for me, because everyone else is probably not shit, I never watched any of Iron Fist from episode 6 onwards. No, so, no, did he actually fight a dragon? Did they go to some random that, That's country? how he got the fist. That's how he got the fist? That's how he got the fist. Right. How he got the what? You're a dirty... Anyway. What? And was the swordsman of the hand, did they fight him pr- prior to him appearing in this episode? The one that died? Yeah. Uh, or the one that was in the shadows? The one that they tried the one that the one that I thought was very similar to the swordsman from Game of Thrones season one. Right. Okay. Um. The one that got stabbed and died at the start. No. Yeah. No. At the end. Then. The, the, the one of the, the one of the, the 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 hand. One of the main leaders of the hand. Oh right. Was he in Iron Fist at all? Um. Madame Gao was in Iron Fist and Bakuto was in Iron Fist. Right. So he was the one that Colleen. Had the, the beef with. Yes. Yeah, he was in Iron Fist. Okay, because... I he I don't think he was the one that they were fighting in Cambodia, though. I think it was Electra. Murakami. No, it wasn't Electra they were yeah, fighting. Murakami yeah. was the Japanese guy. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> See, the problem I found I found for the Defenders is something I found for Daredevil um, as well, not so much the other shows, is that there's so much fighting in Shadow. Yeah. If you're watching it during the day, the way my TV... My, my TV room is set up that the light shines in even I've got the curtains mm-hmm. closed, you know, yeah. so sometimes I miss a little bit, but I think it was Electra they were fighting. That's where the VR headset excels. Ah, Because nice. there's, there's no light in it. It's, it's, it's amazing. I didn't actually use it for Defenders, though. No? No, because I was like, 
uh, just trying, it. because I was trying to cram in as much as I could, I was literally just on my phone most of the time. Right. Um, it was quite funny at times. I was like going between the living room and the kitchen, so I was like putting on my TV and then bringing it back to my phone, going through to the kitchen, coming back, putting it back on the TV again. And I, just... I couldn't, I couldn't watch something like that. Oh, I would give up. I just had to, I had to watch I've, it like that. I've done it during WrestleMania a couple of times. You know, seeing the, the network on the, the laptop and then. Oh really? With, yeah. You know, if you've got to take a bathroom break or something like that, it's. That's oh what, yeah, that makes sense. That's why phones were invented for TV, <laughs> so that you can just shit and keep watching. I've done that before, but if someone's interrupting me watching something, they're going home. <laughs> and I'm watching this thing. Through a window. No, no, and it's too high out, up. Get, I was going to say, going out the penthouse window of Alpha Towers would be pretty fucking brutal. It would be. <laughs> it absolutely would be. So, yeah, they, they find this guy, Shaft, he dies. Um, but he, <laughs> he's, a, he's a member of the Chaste, um, and they fight... So would I have known that if I'd watched Iron Fist? No. You'd okay, only know if fine. you read the credits and seen he was called Shaft. I've not watched Iron Fist, and I've also not watched Jessica Jones either. So. Oh, brother. Jessica Jones so is sort of good. So you both rank amateurs. Get out my show. Right, I wa- <laughs> watch Big Boss here, eh? <laughs> I watched I all Jessica watch. Jones. He gets one hosting gig. You know, he thinks he runs the fucking guy. Honestly, yeah. I've got to give him one every three months. I always to turn up every week, eh? Well, he does turn up every week. He does turn up every week. <laughs> yeah, at midnight. Let me in. <laughs> you drunk? Maybe. Little bit. <laughs> every time. So, yeah. This guy gets killed. I and in my mouth. <laughs> Jesus. It gets to the point where it's just not funny anymore. I'm laughing. Yes, you, you So are. Steve. Steve is you laughing. You can hear him already. I know, but we're trying to bring the class of the show up. Remember, you're the one that said to me last week, we need a girl for the show. Yes. Right. If we get a girl, I can talk about humping her leg every two minutes. It'll be Fucking fine. Fucking hell. That's it. This is why when I do bring a girl on, I'll do it with her first and Wait, on her own. Wait, that doesn't make sense. Go and think about what you're saying here. Eh? Yeah, that's true. <laughs> anyway, defenders, right, let's focus. I want to break her in gentle, though. I can't have her just, like, getting... I think perved on by all of the team at one time. <laughs> I think your girlfriend's just totally lost respect for him now. She can hear every word he said. She never had any. No, she does. <laughs> she only recognises men as six foot and over, so sorry about that, buddy. You guys are out. <laughs> anyway. Anyway. So, That's going to be the longest podcast. I've, get, I've written a very, very... Um, shit note here. <laughs> your mum's catched it. Yes. Dude, dude calls Jessica. Peaks her interest. Oh yes, I remember what that means. It's, it's okay. You keep talking about what you're talking about. So I had to voice that out there. I can't remember now. So yeah, you see that. You see, uh, Jessica. Oh well, the bit you're talking about was where Jessica goes into her apartment and she gets approached by a woman and her kids. Indeed. And they're like, "Find my husband." She's like, "Your husband's cheating on you." Okay, no biggie. Deal with it. Goes in, she gets a phone does call. It. Yeah. yeah, goes in, gets a phone call, and it says, "Do not look for this man." Yeah, she didn't give a one fuck about you, so already you cunted it. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like she didn't care about this guy. Mm-hmm. The architect. Yes, the architect, the architect had to go and over egg it, and then suddenly he's been investigated. Yep, by Jessica Jones. Silly, silly, silly. Who knows our shit? Um, what they, else happens? They go to the motel room and find a big pile of explosives. Big, I yeah, think this will C4. actually be really hard to go through all the bits of the show, eh? Yeah, yeah well, I think it was just. I think we, if we're going to do an episode by episode, yeah, high, really high level. Better. So you, you get the intros, you get them bringing it all back into the characters, um, and you see them just facing. Which is quite cool because you're getting a little bit of Jessica Jones flavour, her being just a moody fucking bitch, yeah. and you thinking, oh yeah, I remember why I got bored of your show really quickly. Uh, Luke Cage being fucking sound and then smashing. Rosario Dawson on the table. Yeah. yeah How man. that table survived. Oh, my man. man. <laughs> Jessica Jones is the uh, borderline alcoholic. Mm. Yep. Um, I forgot that Daredevil was no longer Daredevil. And he's doing like well, his Well, no, it's not something to forget. He hadn't given up by the end of season two. He told... Oh, that's good. I feel better about myself then. I thought I just forgot, totally the, forgot the whole plot point. Season two finished with him showing Karen and saying, I'm Daredevil. Did it? Yes. Yeah. Oh, yes, so it did. And I, I remember at the time, I'm like, oh my god, oh my god. And then I seen it like this week, and I'm like, yeah. Because at the time, I was so into it, you know what I mean? I was yeah. like, yeah. By that time, you're totally, you're totally gripped by And you lose, aren't you? You lose uh, it's still my favourite, but you oh. you lose kind of excitement for these things as it goes on, like as time between seasons goes on and stuff yeah. like that. Um, 
Aye, and you seen it's, Danny bitching and moaning. It's almost like Game of Thrones syndrome. You kind of forgot everything that's happened. Yeah, exactly. Why is that? Why is that now? Because I remember when I was a kid, I would watch a couple, a couple of seasons of something, and every time it came back on, I remembered everything that happened. Is it just because we watched so much shit now? It could be that adult life. You know the fact that we don't. It's adult life. Yeah. Is that the problem? Is that don't, why I don't, don't obsess over everything as much mm-hmm. as we used to? Do we not? The, it's the fucking podcast and a website, uh, motherfucker. Where's that website? It. I'm out of here. Where is the website? Yeah. Ah, if you're looking for on it, the internet, you'll, you'll find it at uh, www. dot uh, blog dot wordpress dot com. I think as well, um, like back in the days, everything was weekly, so there was always that anticipation for the next episode so you, you probably kind of retained what that should happen before and you know the I mean between like, seasons it wasn't everything that difficult was, yeah but now everything is just like fucking <laughs> it is you know we're in a binge culture now so you, you, you sit you plough through everything all at once you probably forget half the, 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 the goes on you the know market, I do <laughs> the market was like saturated as well so you ended up having your favourite shows they were shown constantly on repeat yeah you know, you were seeing the same episode every so many weeks. Yeah, you would, wa- you would watch the episode and then maybe watch it two or three more cemented times. In, yeah, it was yeah. cemented into your brain, so by the time it's new true. stuff came out, you were like, I've just not seen this before. Because even Sky's doing it now when they're releasing full seasons on the same day. You know, It's, it's just what people want now. Yeah. People don't people want it wait. yesterday. People are spoiled. Yeah. And that's what it is. People don't want to wait a week for the next episode. They want to just get it out and done with and move on to the next show. Which I get in a way because it's easier than watching like one night it's Game of Thrones, one night's Walking Dead, one night's Pretty Little Liars, one night's Sons of Anarchy. You know, like That's twice you brought Pretty Little Liars. <laughs> so you want to tell us? <laughs> yeah, it's shite. <laughs> okay, so basically they 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 show us all the pieces and they're trying to slowly push them all together. And they do it quite well. It is quite slow. They it do, takes do quite well. Four episodes, I think, for it to really get together. Um, and you get the the scene in Midland Bank, Midland Circle By the Bank. end of the third episode, they're together because the, that's when they're in the bank. That I want to ask cool. you that was awesome. what you think about how Ripley was introduced. Alexandra. Isn't it? Alexandra, yeah. In what way? Did you think it was she? She was introduced well, or I think the introduction, in a way, she seemed it, more OP in the first episode, and then. I think yeah. When when Ele- when you see Electra going to attack her after she's been resurrected and she just handles her with ease, you know you're like, oh sweet. But how they introduced her with the the sickness and everything. Yeah, that was quite cool. I thought. I thought it was good, but it also showed that she was going to be someone with nothing to lose. Yeah. Um, the stakes were quite high for her. It also made her a bit vulnerable though. Mm-hmm. Um, and at that stage, you didn't know she was part of a. Like she'd been alive for hundreds of years because they slowly allude to that over the next few episodes. I put it together straight away. Actually, I've got to say, yeah, I was like, there was a, there was something to do with the music or the food or there was a whole bunch of them. But we, on the first one, I was like, oh, she's like fucking immortal or some shit. I thought she'd been she, alive uh, for a good couple first, hundred years. There was her a, and White Hat. He was another. So one day. So one day. So one day. Because uh, he'd brought up. Oh no, I'm totally skipped ahead, but I just need this. For no, it's fine. It's fine. He brought up to stick. The fact that I've been doing this before you were born. Yeah. So yeah. That's what I the five about. fingers of the hand have been around for hundreds of years. Yeah. yeah. Because they all they were the the knights of Cunlan who left, um, and formed the hand basically and spread out across the world. What I thought was cool was that um, I forgot her name again. Ripley. Alexandra. 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 That she basically mugged off Madame Gow in the first episode, and I was like. Oh shit! That's what established her. As that pretty much just made her her power a badass. Yeah, yeah. because Madame Gao, when you see her in Iron Fist and Daredevil, you're like, oh, she's she's got power more so in Iron Fist because you see her use her powers. Or do you? So that wasn't a new thing. No, that that from for, sorry, that and this wasn't a new thing because no, it was to me. Because there's a bit where Danny walks towards her as if he's gonna hit her, and she just without even thinking about it, just poof, and sends him flying. Wow! And you're like. Nice. And that's the first thing you really see in her power, you know. Which I, makes you makes me laugh because there's a whole bunch of times when Fisk was talking to her, and you're thinking he would just fucking crush her head. Yeah. Well, actually, no. Madam no. Guy would kick his he, ass. He, he can't get near her. Yeah. Couldn't get near her at all. Um. Did you see the episode where he has a trial? No, because this is the same episode. He's rescuing Sabina. A uh, Sabina. Sabine. Can't remember. He's rescuing the. the the chemist's daughter basically 
Madam Cow makes him go through three fighting tri- fighting trials, and they're pretty pretty cool. Like, makes who go through? Makes Danny face three no. three fights. That's when I never starts... saw Madam Cow in Iron Fist. Oh no, that's when it starts to get really good. Like at that point. Yeah, okay. See, one of our mutual friends said Iron Fist was his favorite. Yeah. yeah. Really? Yeah. Because I think the guy that plays Danny is shit. See, have we ever talked about And I about also this? think that Danny's character is boring, and I think that he's bland, see, that's... and he was shit in Game of Thrones as well. Yeah, see, you're missing the second half of Iron Fist where he goes through... But he was still shit in this. The most mental language. So the first six episodes of the Iron Fist, he's shit, and then in D- Defenders, he's also just a fucking bitch. See, I was saying to Ian, like, I think he actually does a pretty good job, because Danny is meant to be kind of stoic, he's meant to be... You know, he's not meant to show emotion at all. He's meant to be quite calm and, you know, control his chi and all that sort of Buddha okay, stuff. Okay, okay, okay. But Finn Jones shows the underlying anger issues that this character has more towards the end of the series. Like, he can't hide it anymore. It's built up too much. And Yeah, he does show a little bit more of that. Yeah, he, he's got this. He's got this. He tries to stay cool, calm and composed, but he can't do it like Daredevil does it. Um, he just seems like a shit daredevil. He kind of is, and I tell you, <laughs> basically, I tell you what I loved about this show was the fight scenes between the four of them, the defenders. Uh, okay, I loved the fact that Daredevil basically proved that he was an equal to someone with mystic powers. Yes, so Charlie Cox, I believe, is legit hard and can fight like Daredevil. Yeah, like out of all of them. I totally buy. Like I don't know if it's. If I it's also hit. think one punch with Mike Coulter would end a lot of people. I reckon so, but I think that I don't know if it's because the 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 choreography is better for Daredevil or, or 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 what it is, but it just it's so smooth, so seamless. Maybe his stunt double just is perfect for his size, or I don't know what it is. I refer but it, back to. It just looks like it's him doing it, whereas all the other ones I'm like. See if I want to see Daredevil at his finest. I always go back to season one, episode two. Yeah, that corridor scene oh, with the flying awesome. microwave. It's fucking brilliant. It's just so good. You can see, you can see the sort of technical flaws with it, but it's still. So good. It's, it's one of the later episodes of the Defenders. I think it's just five or six. It must be six. Yeah, I'm gonna say it's six. Um, Daredevil and um, Danny end up having that wee fight. Oh, it's so good. And they're going at it, and then you just see, like, uh, Luke Cage, like, I'm going to get involved somehow. And he tries to grab Danny, he totally misses him. <laughs> oh, yeah. I pissed myself at that. It was just like, oh, And man. they doesn't even try anything again. No, no that's because... He just Luke, kind of walks away. So, Luke, oh, well. Luke is slow. Um, he's got the strength, and he just basically waits for people to hit him so he can just grab them yeah. and throw yeah. them He's not about. really a trained fighter, is he? He's not. He had, um, he had the whole Frankenstein thing going on. Yeah, that he is. he tried that, he's like, yeah. oh, okay. Um, I think if Sweet he Christmas. if he trained in the same way that Claire's trained with Colleen. Right, so here's a question. When did Claire become a badass? Iron Fist. Cool, because for me I'm like, what the fuck? Yeah, Iron Fist. <laughs> How is she able to do martial arts all of a sudden? Colleen trains her. Right. She at the end of Luke Cage, she picks up the the wee ticket for the training at Colleen's dojo, Chikara Dojo. Ah uh, okay. I think it's Chikara, is it? I can't remember. Um, she picks up a, a flyer, so she's been training with her uh, during Iron Fist. So that's right. Her. And Colleen's a badass. She, well, she's a um, she's a sand snake, a deputy of the the hand of the hand, right? Yes. Basically, yeah. she yeah. was getting groomed to be the sixth finger. I don't know. Potentially, it, something to do with fingering. Like, yeah, like she she was his black sky. I think so. You I know, think like, she, that yeah. was his total thing. Um, so yeah, I mean, she trained, and that's the other thing. Claire could have easily gone at any point to Danny. I've got friends who could help you take on the hand, you know. And she she kind of didn't. They they sort of naturally. And I I liked the bit where Luke and Danny are fighting in the. Danny seems to fight with them all, eh? but Luke and Danny were fighting in the the alleyway. It's because no one likes him. And Luke's just like Danny's punching him, and his style of fighting the lies on them sort of stepping backwards with each hit so he can step into it and keep going uh-huh. and of course Luke isn't fucking selling it at all it's like fighting the Undertaker you know <laughs> and uh, hashtag wrestling uh, reference there we go I'm in the game and uh, 
then obviously Danny gets the fist out. Send. Oh, it was, it was pretty cool. Like, and, and then he tells Claire, she's like, and he's like, yeah, this strange glowing fist. And she's like, for fuck's sake. Yeah. Danny, get over here. <laughs> I quite like that. And yeah. they're both standing, like, with their arms folded, not looking at each other, like, what's the deal with you? Yes. Why have you got a magic glowing fist? Why can't you be hurt? <laughs> uh, it's not weird at all. And it was just like, I'm the mortal iron fist. <laughs> He doesn't even say it with a hint of embarrassment. You know, he's like, I am the immortal Iron Fist. I punched a dragon in its molten heart. <laughs> yeah. I See, I don't feel like he delivers the line right. I just, I don't like him. I don't like the actor. I, I, you could sense a chemistry between him and But there is a Luke. chemistry between them. And between him and Luke, there was... Which it makes sense because they're the closest. Them two team up in the comic books yeah. more readily. Yeah. But there's also a chemistry between Luke and Jessica... Yes, which just does not go away. Which I'm thinking, Claire. I think. Well, I thought Defenders was going to be a there was going to be some kind of love triangle, but the whole duration of this series was like three days or something like that. It it takes place over a very short period. Yeah, it's of time. not long. Yeah, it's not long. Um, because there's a reference made that like said in the last episode about Midland Circle being like three days ago or something like that. Yeah. But that that no that Midland Circle corridor fight scene, where like. Well, it starts off in the boardroom. And Danny just walks in. He's like, I'm going to expose you and shut you down. Thinking he's all fucking big boss like you were saying earlier. Eh? And then she's like, yeah, no, you're not. And did you notice who was in the, who was one of the execs in her room there? Why were the execs all fucking packing heat and ninjas? Because they weren't execs at all. She was expecting Danny. Is that the reason I why? I think she was expecting him. So she that just was... told a whole bunch of dudes, Danny's going to come... At some point in the next two days, let's all just sit here. Make sure you're all dressed in suit and boots. But did you recognise any of them, any of those execs? Was he in it? No. Was I in it? Were you in it? I wasn't, no. Oh. Uh, Oberyn Martell was in there. Oh, really? Yeah. Can't I, think who, I'm well, how sure, he looks. I'm sure it was him. Actually, I'm doubting myself now that you've said that. I'm sure he was the one on her very right hand side. Where the fuck is my phone? In my pocket, on the very right hand side oh, of her I office. Uh, you guys keep talking, I'll have a quick look. That whole boardroom scene was pretty awesome. Like. Yeah. Um, yeah. It, it was like the staple corridor fight that seems to be. Uh, the, the staple corridor one shot fight that seems to be happening. In every team up. Yeah, every Marvel well, fight. Well, right the now. thing with, with their team up fights is that. I've seen Daredevil take out a whole team of noobs himself. I've seen Luke Cage do it himself. So it kind of seemed like overkill for the four heroes to be taken on four noobs. Punisher as well. Yeah. yeah. Like, oh, the Punisher one I'm was not, just awesome. I'm not seeing... I just didn't get the need for them to team up to fight nobodies. You know? And the fact that Elektra was just so fucking lax... And trying to kill them all. And when did Electra get super strength? When she was resurrected. Yeah, so she actually does have super strength. Because it's not consistent at all. Because if she had super strength, um, after she was resurrected, which she clearly exhibited, why was she not wiping the floor with Daredevil, considering they were pretty evenly matched before? I think she was holding back. There was, I don't know what... I don't know. I didn't, I, I didn't buy a few things with some of the fight scenes... I thought some of the fight scenes looked a bit clunky. It was kind of... Some of the Luke Cage fight scenes weren't that good. Same with the Jessica Jones ones. I'm not sure about Iron Fist because out of six episodes, I never saw him do anything, I don't believe, apart from sitting in a mental home for four of them. I'm like, break out! You're the Iron Fist! Come on! He was too drugged up. Uh, Shut up! With don't, don't drugged other, up! The only other thing I think I've got, I was going to text you guys at this point. Um when Stick has turned heel yep and uh, Danny is trying his hardest not to inhale the incense yeah you know how uh, Jessica and Daredevil are well Matt I suppose are walking back and he's like wait a minute there's something not quite right and so they end up running to the building and she carries on running and he jumps up to like the upper level bit so he's jumped up, they just have to look down, and then you see Jessica running past, I was like, well, did she just kind of stop? 
for a second and go, where is he gone or whatever, and then finally, I mean, how how long? I I, I, I never uh, noticed that bit. No, I didn't notice either. Uh, I need to show you, but I was just like, it just looked kind of awkward. It wasn't yeah. Oberyn Martell at all. I know who it was. It was a carry on. It was someone else. He was in Lost, I think. Oh okay. All right. I can't think how who Oberyn Martell is. The one that got his eye, his head crushed in the. the oh, Viper. Oberyn, 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. That Oberyn Martell. Yeah, that oh, one. Yeah. Yes, I, I thought you meant now. Oberyn Martell. Yeah. No, no. <laughs> the Oberyn. The Oberyn. <sighs> I don't so know. Some like of the fight your, scenes your, like just miniature dinosaur impression or something. No, 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 no. It's, it's much, it's much bigger than that. <laughs> Some of the fight scenes for me just didn't fly, and they didn't fly in any of the episodes in no, any no, other series like... apart from Daredevil. Like some of them just looked really awkward. Some some of the things they do with Luke Cage, I'm like, I'm, well, that's the thing. Luke Cage is funny because it is kind of awkward, but it must be really hard for them to do to punch him and not stunt, touch him. Yeah, where they punch or kick him, and they have to act like he's not fucking moving, you know, and. Like, why didn't Elektra just kill all the defenders after she killed Stick and kidnapped Danny? Why didn't that happen? Mission accomplished, I guess. What did you think when Stick died? I was actually disappointed. Although I found it funny that Stick's stump was longer than his other hand. Uh, I thought that was pretty funny. <laughs> oh, I never noticed that. Did you know, there's no. a bit where he's arguing with Matt. Um, and Matt storms off and you just kind of stand in a silhouette and you see that his stump comes down to the same level as his tips his fingers on the other side. Oh, no way. Yeah. I thought it looked really square and large for a wrist. Mm-hmm. A lot of times. Yeah. That was the thing I thought. So, um, I quite liked and they, they do this in other, uh, in the other Marvel Netflix series as well, Like, but... The, the violence and the gore isn't gratuitous at any time. It isn't excessive or they're just for the sake of it. But when they do it, they don't shy away from it it's, either. It's not torture porn or anything. No, like it's it. like if it happens, it happens and they show it as they expect it would probably look. They don't so suddenly go like someone's about to lose their head and then look away. You know, you see it happen. That, that whole taking off his hand and jumping through the air, man. I was like, I can hell what about that? Yeah, yeah, that was pretty sweet. Mm-hmm. That's ballsy. That's a man right But he, he's old. <laughs> he's basically old man daredevil. Yeah. You know, so... Yeah, he well, is. Matt can do it. Stick can do it. Kind Although of I, was, I was pretty disappointed when he turned heel. I wasn't angry. I was just... He's a heel. I was just disappointed. You don't listen to the show, so you can't do it. <laughs> Whoa. I listen to this show. He does it. <laughs> He's a heel! There we go, thank you. Well, uh, <laughs> I, I don't know, I kind of lost all respect for him after that. I, I just didn't care if he lived or died. Really? Yeah, I kind of thought know. that he was doing what needed to be done. Oh, I don't know. I was like, yeah, kill Danny. Kill him. I loved it when uh, he got so handy. And then oh, he just, that was awesome. It just yeah. out of nowhere, eh? and then it was like, boom, So boom. what's the gig with Savandi? Was he super strong? I presume because he... was he... just He was the same as Alexandra and... Bukaki, uh, I was all, I almost called him Bukaki. Um, That's something you Google ba- later on. Bakuto. Um, what ninja? Yeah, he was just like. But well, he immortal. was able. But he was able to punch Luke Cage and really rough him up a little bit. Strong. So and he must have been. His thing must have been strength. Because mm, I presume that each of them had a slightly different power, much like the possibly, the defenders. But yeah. well, my understanding was that um, Alexandra, mm-hmm. she was the highest level of martial arts. Right. Obviously, they're probably all, like, sort Madame of a bit Gow stronger or whatever. Madame Gao has got, like, basically force push. Yes. Which, she's kind of compensating. It's kind of like the Iron Fist power. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, I assumed Sawandi, is that the right name for yeah. him? He was basically sort of Luke Cage. Well, he, he was, was new for Defenders, so you've seen as much as we've seen of him. He was strong, but he wasn't... Mm. He wasn't obviously invulnerable, yeah. So he's more like Jessica Jones, if anything. Mm-hmm. Which they're all they're pretty fast and loose with some of the powers of Jessica Jones. Sometimes I was getting yeah. confused at her powers after. It's, after a while. it's like because I went and googled it, and apparently she can fly in the comic books. I never knew that. Yeah. Right. Okay. I didn't You're know mixing that. her up with Jessica Drew. No. No. Right. Okay. No, she can. Um, well, no, she doesn't fly in the series, but she does jump high. Hmm. Because um, there's been a couple of times where she's jumped a couple of stories or whatever in the her show, her series. Did you watch all of that one? Yeah, yeah, I watched yeah, it all. Yeah, yeah. Because um, the purple man was in it, and he was the best thing about it. Yes, he's. He bu- kept he kept me watching because I said to Kerry, if Kill I, Grave. Kill Grave. Kill Grave yeah. I wouldn't keep on watching this if you if he wasn't in it no. anymore. No, no, and 
he's in it series two. Mm-hmm. It would seem so. Have you seen the footage, or, like the behind the scenes photos and stuff? I've seen some of them. Um, so he's always behind people's shoulders. Oh, cool! Talking. Being a, being a puppet master. No, I think he doesn't exist. I... Oh, good show. As long as he's, if he's in the show, because I'll watch it. She suffered. Not, she suffered from anxiety attacks in the first issue, the first episode, and so where he was like shouting in her ear or talking in her ear or whatever. That's true. But wasn't actually in the room. So maybe he's residual to anyone that he's controlled. Possibly. Sweet. Yeah. I love that scene on the. Uh... Come back here, Jessica. On the, uh, the underground. And she just went up to the, the homeless guy and nicked him the beer. <laughs> that, that was, that was a... And, uh, the the defenders. defenders. They're, they're sitting uh, on the train. They've the got, train. They've escaped from the police station. Oh, nicked his beer. So I thought she yeah. licked his beard. I was like, I don't remember this bit. <laughs> yeah, that was pretty funny when she, when she It was that. just funny. It's like, how are we going to get there? And she's got a metro ticket. And they're like, ticket. you see them all just sitting on the train. <laughs> that was funny. <laughs> it was like... Um, Thor of the Dark World, but done better. Yeah, yeah, exactly, yeah. That was pretty decent. Yeah, because um, you believe they would travel back. Do you know anything about the hand, about these members in the comic book? That was what I wanted to ask you. Do you know anything I about don't, them? the only... only Is that like the actual have, hand? What's that? Is that the actual hand? I'm not sure. Because there's, there's a guy that Wolverine cut his hand off, and he right. was the leader of... One section. I only hand. remember. I only can think of Gorgon. Who's Gorgon? Gorgon was a. Gorgon Zola. No, he's uh, that's Arnim Zola. I'm just pretending it's gone over my head. It hasn't. <laughs> um, no, uh, Gor- so Gorgon much. was just one of the the leaders of the hand at one point as well. Right, but. Uh, nah. It's, jobber. The thing is, the hand and Hydra are easily sort of interchangeable most of the time. Well, that's the thing I what I was interested about. But they're not because Hydra's like an organization like Shield, but yeah, whereas uh, that hat and they're more ninjas. And... So I wanted I wanted to know if you'd read anything where the Hand and Hydra interact or any way offers any link to them. No, or, that or I can anything. think of. Apart from recently, an old man Logan, um, because I can't remember the name of him, but a villain sends Logan's body uh, spirit away, and his body becomes rendered useless. And he basically tries to sell it to AIM, Hydra, I think the hand are all there, but that's about the only time they don't really interact with each other so much. There's just okay. a level of distrust. He's trying to sell Wolverine's body, basically. I went and bought that on Blu-ray to do. Well, well, Logan. Logan. Yeah. Oh, is it out? Yeah, yeah. Oh. yeah it's Has it got the black and white? It's got the black and white version Has it? as well. Oh, I, splurge. Because I, I, my Sky subscription <laughs> gave me a free movie. Sorry. And that could have been one of them was... Logan Noir and Logan plus the mm. DVD but I decided against it because I want the Blu-ray I might actually it's not often I I buy a Blu-ray I might actually go buy that one two I got HMV today two for 25 Oof, still expensive so. I'd wait six months and get it off Amazon for a, like tenner or something so if I buy two I will be getting it for about a tenner he said two for 25 right yeah uh, a... but I'm talking Blu-ray yeah like Nah, you get it cheaper than a ten. I don't know. I I'm, buy. I'm, 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 I'm talking Blu-ray as well. Oh, okay. Well, if you're saying you get two Blu-ray for twenty-five bucks, basically. Yeah, so it's like twelve fifty each. I suppose it's not that bad, but still. I want to watch the black and white version. I really do. And then I picked up the nice guys for a fire. Mm. <laughs> That's quality. Anyway, we're getting off track. Yeah, we are. So, chemistry between the defenders. Then, what do you think of that? Chemistry. Um, I, I liked Matt. And Jessica's chemistry, and I really liked Luke and Iron Fist's chemistry. Mm-hmm. I thought that both those kind of little team ups seemed to work really well. Yeah. There's obviously another type of chemistry between Luke and Jessica. Yeah. Matt and um, Luke didn't really seem to interact that much. And when they did, when they're in the restaurant, when they're about to come to blows, I was like, now this would be a good test for Daredevil. Because I just don't buy Iron Fist in any shape or form. I don't buy him at all. Like, You can comment you didn't finish it. I didn't finish it because it was so fucking bad. <laughs> I, I think it's, you should, it's, I should it's go back and persevere. It's not often that I won't finish something. Go back and persevere because it does a lot of the setup of the Colonel Lund stuff for Defenders Never going to watch it. Okay, okay. Um, <laughs> Straight up not watching it. There was a bit Ian talked about in the car on the way here. I don't know if you want to talk about that. But when he's like, I'm glad that we all got together and met like this. Oh, yeah, that was oh, funny. that was funny. Yeah, yeah. I'm not hugging you. 
<laughs> just straight up. Was just, it's not happening. It was just what he said. It was the, so funny. Uh, the final battle was pretty sweet. Like, uh, just from a a filmmaker's point of view. When it when it spun round and you seen it all going round, round yeah, there was like so much happening. That was well done. Especially seeing uh, Luke take somebody down. No, uh, it kind of bad. You just you know, taking somebody down, mm-hmm. punching the show. I was just like, yes. I, I thought it looked cheap. Oh, no, that's I thought the final battle looked cheap. I also thought it was interesting that when the defenders were all lined up, Danny was the one facing the opposite direction. It always seemed like he was separate from the rest of them. Um, that's probably it's come land draining though. Mm, oh yes. The whole other thing that I I didn't like the the elevator. The whole thing going down the elevator. See, I was. Just... I didn't like the underground bit. I was the, the whole time. I'm thinking. Where's the rest of the hand stopping them from getting downstairs? Mm. Uh, this is the point I was about to bring up as well. See when the uh, the cable snapped mm-hmm. and Jessica was holding on to it. That was cool. And they got out and then she let go of the cable and then it cut to uh, Electra and Daredevil beating the shit at each other. Mm-hmm. I was waiting for that elevator to crash down. Oh, it doesn't, does it? And it didn't. Mm. It went up. Emergency brakes kicked in. You explain anything away, won't you? Yeah. <laughs> but, yeah. like, I thought they were going to... You should hear my explanations for you. Were... <laughs> I thought you'd see them, like, knocking the crap at each other. <laughs> and then uh, the elevator was going to come down and obviously kick up dust and everything else. And It'd be funny if they just stopped, them. looked at it for a second, and then carried on fighting at the yeah. exact same moment. Like... So you tell me the electric was holding back when that fight as well at the end. Oh, yeah. That was obvious, though. She wanted... To... She didn't want to... kill him. Yeah, well, she was holding back from killing him, but holding back her strength. Probably, she's yeah. Pulling because all, all if, the she, if she punched him full force, she'd probably really break him. And she didn't want him to die. That's why he didn't. I, it'll be interesting. I'm looking forward to the other guys seeing Daredevil for the first time again. I thought they'd kill them. Nah, I didn't. I was like, no. They, they, didn't they just commissioned kill them all. Daredevil season that's, three. That's what season yeah, but I, that's I, I what didn't... spoiled that for me. Or I would have been sitting there going, no, no. Well, way. I, I, I didn't know that. Oh, right, so okay. I kind of thought maybe Charlie Cox has done his two his two seasons. He's not re-signed. That's why they've got they've churned out the defenders nice and quick. They've got their, their they've got the Punisher coming out. They're probably going to bring in a couple other heroes into the... Are, are these guys not supposed to make an appearance in Infinity War or something? This has been talked about now. Kevin Feige confirmed that there will be a TV crossover with the MCU. My concern is it will be a TV crossover with the... Shield. Yes. And not those guys and he's just misleading people. So... But to me, they should be in it. Realistically, the Defenders could meet Shield. The TV Shield. Yeah. And meet Ghost Rider. Yes. Have you watched any of Shield? No. Why? I got five episodes in and got bored of Hero, the villain of the week. So. So you basically. But I don't. Fist I don't con- comment on how shit it is. Why? Because I haven't watched it. I can't comment. Well, you watched. You haven't of it. watched Iron Fist. But... You watched. <laughs> you watched enough of it to be turned off. Yes, but I watched five episodes out of like sixty, so I can't really. Okay, well, I watched half of Iron Fist and it was fucking wank, and then I watched more of him <laughs> and he was still wank. But it's got Colleen Wing. I love Colleen; she's awesome. Yeah. And so Miss- for for me, she was she was a total asshole, and now she's totally sound. Mm. So I've missed this progression of her going from assholeness to sound. Um, Mister Knight finally lost her arm. Oh yeah, I meant to totally look into that. Is, is that? Does that happen in the comic books, by chance? She's got a metal arm in the comics. She's right. got a robotic arm. But See, they really alluded this... to it at the end of Luke Cage. Yeah. When she got hurt in that arm, but she didn't lose it. She got stabbed in the shoulder or something. Um, but didn't lose her arm. But this time, she actually lost her arm. And I was I didn't see it coming. But then I actually thought we were going to see her with her new arm at the end of the... No, the but Colleen basically said to... Yeah. Danny can give you whatever you want. Yeah. Wink, wink. You know, and... So, we'll, we'll see... I would be, I would be the same though. If I lost my arm while it was still raw and open, I'd be getting in touch with cybernetics companies and be like, "Come and experiment on me." <laughs> she'll get something from Tony Stark, right? Yeah, 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 probably. So nah, close. she'll get something from Rand Enterprises R and D. So. Yeah, I'm a little bit tired of billionaires. Like, I like 
like Bruce Wayne and Tony Stark, that's cool, but there seems to be a just it's a really easy way to explain a whole bunch of stuff for a whole bunch of different They're people. the ones who've got the time to do it. Everyone else is too busy working forty eight hours a week. <laughs> that's the thing. Eh? Yes. <laughs> We'd all be heroes if we didn't have to work forty yeah, exactly, hours a week. Yeah. Fucking pricks. I'd honestly. be a proper buff geek, you know. You would be. I would. You would. Um How did you feel about the season overall? I I liked it. And I'm looking forward to the next season. And I'm looking forward to Daredevil. I'm sure I'm looking forward to Luke Cage. Reasonably sure I'm going to watch Jessica Jones, but especially now that the Purple Man's in it. Iron Fist is really going to push me to get actually watch that. I don't. I think I might just skip it again. Um, overall, I liked it, but I think there was a lot of kind of bits that were a bit messy. I found the pacing. like the fight scenes didn't gel correctly. Um, the villains, I don't know why the villains didn't just try and fucking actually kill them a couple mm. of times. Like it, I'm, I'm just surprised. It could have been a movie, not eight episodes. <sighs> Maybe and a that's where Maybe a two-parter. It could have been four. Mm. It didn't need to be like like Iron Fist. They spent six episodes doing almost nothing, which they could have done in almost one. Maybe that they could have done like two. That at the start of Iron Fist. I'll admit so that. I don't know. I feel like sometimes they, although these Netflix series are short, they could actually be shorter. Jessica Show Jessica Jones could have been. Hella short. Yeah, it got a bit weird in the middle when her and Kilgrave are trying to be heroes together. That was a, I actually liked that though. It was just a bit weird because it it made him look weak and easily sort of manipulated by her. I thought the opposite. I thought he saw he saw the, the not not the light but the merits of being a hero. Mm. I thought he was getting a great understanding of what he could really do, and I thought it was more interesting that he would potentially become a hero, and. They've kind of done like the mid-season flip to a different villain each time, so I mm-hmm. thought there'd be someone else. Yeah, that's why I actually liked that part. But I mean, I want to watch the next season of it, of Defenders for sure. But I don't know; it just seemed a little bit messy. Man. You know what got me totally pumped was the opening credits of the first episode and reading the names of the people who were in it. So it's coming up and it's saying like Eldon Henson, Deborah Ann Wall, you know, um, Rachel Taylor. Uh, Simone Missick all those all the supporting characters who one thing it does well is it gets you invested in because it doesn't give you like a total overload of supporting characters there's maybe like three Spot or four blind. yeah exactly you know you've got all these different people so I, I got really excited just seeing all these names appearing in one list of credits it's interesting you say that because it's not it's not clunky in any way each one of the supporting characters from their own respective show manages to blend in really well I thought mm-hmm. so that's something they did extremely well especially when they all end up in lockdown at the police station you see Trish talking to Karen and things like that and by the way Trish Trish man oh man oh man I seen a video she posted on Instagram the other day of her boxing training uh-huh. oh fuck have you seen the video of, <laughs> of Gal Gadot no. doing the boxing training no Holy shit. But she's a trained martial artist, is she not? She would be a fucking killer. Mm-hmm. I've that, like, the amount of girls that have said, oh, she's not got enough muscles or whatever, like the, the kind of like the fit chicks or whatever, I'm mm. thinking, man, she would wipe the floor with me. Like, she is a. You know who's vicious? Killer! Gina Carano. Yes. She is brutal in the ring. I've never watched any of her fights. Oh, man. She delivers a flurry of blows to the face, and each one is not like just. Like losing power for speed. She, she was They're the girl powerful. Was for a while. Powerful. <laughs> was, she, and fast. was she the one for you? Uh, yeah, she was. Yeah. But, so she would be a good. Uh, yeah, she cropped up in Deadpool, and I loved her even more. So, yeah, oh yes, yeah, so she was. Eh? No Deadpool. Yeah. Blurge. The bit I thought was really funny. Like fuck the, you, Instagram. The the very first episode, where uh, Luke's getting released from jail, he's he's beating Foggy. He's like, yeah, people call me Foggy. And he goes, and you let them? <laughs> oh, that's him. <laughs> but, and he finds that hilarious. He just wets himself. Luke Cage, I would watch just for his banner. He was in Jessica Jones as well, wasn't he? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Because she shot him in the face. Yeah, how did that go again? She shot him with a shotgun in the face, right? Yeah. Did and that it, knock him out? It nearly fucking killed him. Why was that again? Because he, it 
penetrated. It was such a high impact concussion. His skin is unbreakable, but everything underneath isn't. So his brain took a massive knock from the impact. Impact. Oh, is that what happened? And so Claire had to go through a hole, like between his eyelid and his eye, to get to his brain to relieve that the pressure. That was it. Because I remember thinking, why did the shotgun blast hurt him? Because surely. If you punch him with super strength and you can pick up a fucking bus, and I'm reasonably sure that I read that Jessica Jones can move five tons, surely her punch, although it won't break his skin, would rock his brain more so than a shotgun. Possibly. And that would put him out. It's little things like that that fuck me off. Shotguns are wider range though than a... It's it's like being hit with a... Like ten fists at once. You could say that gas fire as well on the... uh... (laughs) That was sweet. (laughs) Oh, when he grabs the sword... Yeah. Oh, that yeah. scene was awesome. Seeing Daredevil take it on, what's his name, Murasami and uh, Masuka, was it? Masuka? Can't remember. I'm gesturing for you to look back at what you had before. Um, take, well, it doesn't matter. The guy who only speaks in Japanese and Marikuma. Bakuto right. at the same time. Marikuma. Murakami. Murakami. Check this out. I'm going to show you Gal Gadot punching right. some noob. Let's see it. Boom, 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 boom. Oof. Look at the pace. Yep, that's... The kicks are different. Oh. She is not finished. This goes on for ages. Yeah. That's intense. How fucking badass is that? She reminds me of Drea de Matteo there. I don't know who that is, but um, look at her go. No. Just... She's still going. Yeah, she's just... Like, if you Elbows folks want to watch this, go to Henry Cavill's Instagram and check out... There's a video of Gal Gadot boxing. Look at this, dude. It's pretty awesome. We're getting off track from Defenders. We are, though, but just talking about badass girls. We're venturing into DC who are just struggling. Just watch her keep on going, man. Just watch it. So, yeah. I'm losing my train of thought. You are. It's because it's getting late. Is is she still going? She's still going that whole time there. Still going. Still going. That's because she hit repeat. Henry Henry Cavill. Henry Cavill. (laughs) Henry Cavill? Henry. (laughs) Gal Gadot. (laughs) Fucking hell. Right. Christian so, Affleck. Are Daredevil. you looking forward to the next season? And are I, you going to watch I, all? Are you I going love to watch all of it so far, from Daredevil season one, right the way up to End of Defenders. I've loved everything in between. You've loved it all. Overall, even, yeah. Even Luke Cage post. You've seen Luke Cage. I've seen Luke Cage. So even Luke Cage post Cottonmouth. Cottonmouth. Yeah, we, we. I mean, we talked about it before. It was still enjoyable. It was still good to see him become the hero of Harlem, even if it was with a. Bullshit villain. Excuse me, yeah. Uh, <laughs> a bullshit villain, sorry. Yawning. Diamondback, was it? Diamondback, yeah. I mean... <sighs> I got my diamond back. Once, once Cottonmouth went, I was like... <gasps> that was a... I thought that would be a good way to end that show. Or end the season there. Mm-hmm. For moving forward. And then they bring in this fucking... Bollocks villain. And I was like, nah, man. I'm out. Like, I watched it, but this was not good, the yeah. rest of it. I also wonder if the Wu-Tang Clan have some sort of contract with Marvel just now. Just, uh... That song just kicked in out of nowhere. Right, that was the thing. See, the I fight scene. I thought that... I actually that was thought jarring been, as fuck, right? I thought there'd been a crossover, because the soundtrack was just like going along nicely, like the score, and then suddenly it was boom, and it kicks in. I actually thought my phone had kicked in. I didn't know what was so going on. Was I took like... my headphones off, and I'm like, oh no, it is in this. It's like someone went... We need to put some rap music in. Yeah. Put it there. We've got a contract with the Wood Town. Is it, is it an old song? Yeah, it's an old song, yeah. Because I figured it's from Danny's playlist. That's That was my explanation in my head for why it was that specific song. It was, it was from Danny's playlist on his old MP3 oh, player. Has he got a tape as well? Yeah, you know, he's got an old MP3 player from his crash. Oh, so he's even he's, he's not only shit, but he's also boring and stole Star-Lord's thing. No, it's, it's not quite the same. <laughs> he's a hero! It is an MP3 Come on, player. Iron Fist, I'll fucking have you. It's an MP3 player, I think, from when his um, plane crashed originally. So you're talking like iPod Generation 1, something right. or another. Um, so he constantly gets ripped through Iron Fist for his music. Not constantly, but he gets ripped a few I times I remember that, music. actually, yeah. Um, so that's the, that was the only explanation for that because there's, there was a couple of times in Iron Fist where music like that was used but it, it was out of nowhere that was that, that was, was a, bad. a loss of banana points yeah. that that made a, a bad looking fight scene worse for as far as I was where was the hand sorry before they went downstairs on the, the end elevator? of the arm no no where was where were they before they went down the elevator uh, so the Midland, bosses Midland Circle Bank the four bosses were like cool 
we're going to handle this and put ourselves in jeopardy instead, instead of sending the foot soldiers. Three. Or three, sorry. Yeah, because Samandi was dead and, and Alexandra was dead and Electra wasn't involved. Yeah. So. Um, and then they just fuck off and, and just go like, it's cool. We're just, we're going to go, we're going to go from wherever we were all the way downstairs really, really quick while the defenders just regroup for two minutes and then... Well, they, they stood around for ages talking about, <laughs> do we blow it up? Do we not blow it up? And I don't know. I didn't, I didn't like that. Meanwhile, much. Japanese guy Bakuto and fucking Madame Yoda got away. But Bakuto didn't go down the lift. He went into the boiler room because he knew... Who was the Japanese ninja? The Japanese guy that was gutting the bear? He, you've never seen him before. That was the introduction. What was his name, though? Murakami. Marakumi. Satsuma. S- Right, that guy. Yeah, that guy. Murasami. How many times did he get his fucking ass handed to him? I know. Straight up. Uh, if considering who's, who's stabbed on him at that point? He Is fell it? off the elevator, the lift at right, the end. Uh, right, okay. He got chucked off the lift and he landed on a upright. Yeah, just the on only a, one in that entire vicinity, and he yeah. happened to land on it. Um, and Madame Gao just kind of looked at him like, "Hmm, that's a bit shit." Yeah, and then she sculled off. Yeah. I kind of thought. I don't know if you guys were waiting for it or hoping for it that the kingpin might come into it, and I I thought the defenders thought might we'll, have asked for his help. Yeah, I thought we were going to at least get a glimpse from him at some point, but yeah. sadly we didn't. No, I, I had pretty much had a feeling he wasn't going to be in. It. I think I might have read something. I'm starting to really miss him. Oh yeah, and I kind of shat on him a little bit. Kingpin. Yeah. I don't remember that, but he's awesome. We weren't doing a podcast when the Daredevil was out. Yeah, uh, we did a podcast on season two. Yeah, but, but, but when with the I think I said to you that I wasn't super into him. Oh no, I see. for I certain it. reasons. See, first season was like his origin story, and so he went from timid or apparently timid guy to proper kingpin. He went from Wilson Fist to kingpin, and I loved every minute of it. Um, I just thought it was so good. So yeah, he was missing. Yeah, I mean, for Daredevil, he's unfortunate that both seasons he's been outshined, outshone, upstaged by his villain. Like Kingpin in season one and Punisher in season two. Yeah, that's true. And then Elektra. And Elektra as well. So I as, love Elektra. As solid as Charlie Cox is, he's always been just pipped at the post by other people. He, as much as I totally buy him as Daredevil and I actually think that he is a ninja, mm-hmm. and I even buy that he's blind, he is a little bit beige. And his helper... Foggy, I don't know the actor's real name. Eldon Henson. Eldon. Cool, Foggy. Um, Eldon Henson. Mm-hmm. He, ducks. <laughs> he outshone him in terms of just his sheer quality of acting. Mm-hmm. He is very good. You know, he's so powerful. He eats up screen time. If you want to see him being a very good actor, check out the butterfly effect. I know, I've seen it, yeah, oh, he's good in that. That's awesome. Yeah, he's yeah. really good in that. He's in uh, Hunger Games as well. Dan, I said this last yeah. week. He's like the one of the the, the one that doesn't talk. You seen the Hunger Games? Yeah, I've seen all the, four of them. Like all four. I've of them. Well, I I watched three. Uh, the third one made it made sure I'll never watch the fourth. You one. know the film crew that follow Katniss about. He's uh, like the, the mute yeah. one. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah, it's him. He's like a big hairy bastard, isn't it? No, I didn't know. Uh, it's him. He looks totally different. He even looks like really tall. Really? Yeah, it's, it's strange what they've done with him. But uh, I was going to say something, and I've completely for. Gotten. Villains of this season, good, bad, different. They're all right, they kind of. Uh, I, I remember what I was going to say. Yeah, carry on. I was just going to say they're all right, but some of them kind of died pretty easily. Well, that was it. Alexandra's death. Where did that come from? I kind of felt like something was about to happen. The way that the scene was working out, I she was kind of doing her speech, but I, I didn't. I, I didn't thought think it was, it was really Electra. Um, and then the next bit after that where she's standing in the middle of the office and they're kind of circling around her they're like, I, I don't know, like hyenas or wolves or something like that, they're circling and I thought, shit's going down Yeah. and it didn't and I kind of wished it had for a bit and she just didn't kill them but beat them senseless and be like, no, you work for me bitches that would be much better but, um, but you no. see them carrying the body out Ah, it was dripping blood's going everywhere um, <laughs> just when you're talking about you believe Charlie Cox is blind he auditioned, and he believes it was for the Han Solo project, but he wasn't told. Uh, he auditioned for it, and they stopped him halfway through his audition and said, why aren't you making eye contact? He was so used to not looking people in the eye when he was talking to them, 
and being the, the blind guy just talking like that, eh? that he wasn't looking. And they were like, no, you need to look at us. And he thinks that's what cost him, like potentially cost him the part. Because he was so used to being Daredevil, he oh wasn't looking at God, them. Oh, really? Mm-hmm. So. He's too old to play young Han Solo. Oh, uh, I don't know if it was for Han Solo, but it was, he oh, thinks that, it was right. for that film. That's yeah. interesting because he he does it so often and he's just look and he's kind of just looking away mm. and he's moving his head a little bit. What I found funny was he says to the boy, um, says to the boy at the start, "Do you understand?" And the boy nods his head and he just goes and pats him on the shoulder like he's seen him nod his head. Oh yeah, and I'm like, can't see that. That that was a good piece of drama from him though. I quite like that. But oh, uh, but he's walking down the street with Jessica Jones and she goes off. Oh, I've not seen this for a while. Aye, it's just like, mm-hmm. so, oh, sorry. <laughs> Oh, that brings it back to the Game of Thrones episode when Danny and um, Danny and Tyrion are having a discussion, mm-hmm. and he makes you know an insinuation that maybe she likes Jon Snow, and she's like, "No, no, he's too little for me." Uh, I mean, I mean, uh, I'm sorry. Oh. <laughs> and he's like, "What? What the fuck? I'm sitting right here." <laughs> but for some reason, Jon Snow does seem smaller than Tyrion in a lot of ways. Did you see her Instagram video of him pretending to be a dragon? No. It's funny. It's um, Jon Snow standing on the edge of the cliff and he's just standing there with his long jacket on. He's just flapping it about like that. No, he's not. Just being silly and having a laugh. It's quite funny. You see the... Uh, he knows nothing. The, the Ikea rugs. You get the instructions on how to turn it into... <laughs> like a night's watch a cloak, night, night's watch, a cloak. Oh, like brilliant. So, that it, it turned out that's where the props department got these uh, big... You know, the big scarf? Yeah, yeah. Turns out it's an IKEA rug. Huh. Really? Yeah. Right. So uh, they're actually they're selling. I also IKEA are still selling them, but they're actually handing out instructions as to how to turn it into the uh, big John Snow style brilliant cloak. Do you know what everyone awesome. says IKEA wrong? It's IKEA. 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 Huh? But no one's ever going to say that. IKEA. 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 E. Yes. E E E. IKEA. Every day is a school day. There you go. <laughs> Repeat after me. Ikea. Ikea. Primark. Nike. Nike. <laughs> Adidas. I can never remember which is the right pronunciation. That's the right I think one. that is it. So. There and you go. Tomato. Moet. Is it? No, it is Moet. It? No, it's actually Moet. Moet. See, yeah. if Moet, that's what Moet sounds like Del Boy reading French, doesn't it? Well, that's the thing, <laughs> yeah, but it's actually correct. Nice. And Who Garden. Who Garden beer? Oh, is it Who Garden? It's Who Garden. Who Garden. Yo- yogurt. <coughs> oh, don't even get me started. Right, we went into a funny, funny. No. So uh, we're, we're getting tired now, and I think we've lost a bit of a yeah, we are. our train. So, so overall, defenders. Fucking loved it. You loved it. I loved it. I, I had a lot of fun it. with it. Yeah. But just again, it's not marriage material. But you have a bit of fun with it. Do you know what? That's a good point. It's not marriage material. Maybe. It's good for eight episodes, though. It's good for eight episodes. <laughs> well, maybe there's some flaws in there. I found a few flaws in there, but am I just a bit too picky? Yep. Okay. It's not hanging about that one. Yeah, you know it. But <laughs> and I'm too easy pleased. Huh. That's that works for the personal training because I can see a flaw in someone's squat, for example. Just get right in there. And then they and go, Come it. on, you bastard, I'm taking a shit in the bush. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, You're doing it wrong, though. You're not using your glutes properly. Activate, activate, and breathe. So, and, and don't use those. Le- oh, sorry, too late. Too yeah. late. I, I thought it was alright. Like, I, I did really enjoy it. I just like, I was saying to David Dakar, I, I felt as though it was kind of, it was starting to lose its steam towards the end. Just me personally, I thought that. Yes. But then again, I watched like the first six episodes of the Friday. And then I tried getting the, the last two on like the Saturday and Sunday. Well, I tried getting the last two on the Saturday, but I fell asleep just because I chose a stupid time to w- try and watch them. You know, like after you've been working all day and what have you. For sure. So then I had to go back, remember where I'd left off or what I can remember from, and do that again. And then it happened again. So I got into the cycle of I'd watched the same episode about three times. Mm-hmm before I could move on you know that's what was good for me and that's how I got the the episodes in was because Netflix remembers where you've left off uh-huh. and I never fell asleep on an episode so I was able to just stop it and then continue watching I'd maybe just get 20 minutes and then be like oh fuck I need to go and do something else or that. so I wasn't stopping at the end of episodes I was stopping maybe like halfway through an episode because that was just when my time 
you know, I needed to go to my bed or I needed to go and, I don't know, beat the kids up again or something, something like that. Like that yeah. Yeah, because yeah, like on the uh, Friday, I was just, just going to watch one episode just see, you know, what it's like. And then I just, yeah, I don't do, so I just kind of played all the way through it, you know. When I got home on Thursday, about well, Friday morning, it was like midnight on the button. So I was on the Netflix and it's like, watch soon. I'm like, bastards. So I went and Googled it and it was 8 a.m. Yeah. It was midnight Pacific time, which is like eight hours like behind us. Right, okay. So that's what it was. So they got it midnight on the button, but we had to wait till eight in the morning. I watched the first two episodes to try and break myself into it because I, I said to you I wasn't watching it, remember? Mm-hmm. And I, I think I actually ended up watching the whole thing before anyone. <laughs> <laughs> but I was like, I'm not watching it, it's bullshit. Uh, I watched the first two and I was like, maybe it's not bullshit. So I watched the first two during the day when I was doing stuff on the computer and I, I can't really, I can't do that. Mm. But there was enough good things to happen to distract me from my work that I was like, oh right, maybe I will actually invest in this. And then Kerry went to bed early that night and then I blasted like four eps and I was like, this is fucking brilliant. Yeah. And then when I watched the next few episodes, just didn't you watched it. So yeah. after, like, see when they're in the, the Chinese restaurant and oh, the next episode after cool. that, that was all great, but it just seemed it I don't know, lose his way for me a little bit and some of the fight scenes were a little bit... Uh, uh, uh. But for me, yeah, I'm looking forward to the next stuff. Do you know what I'm going to do? Just for you. End the podcast. Just for you. Close. I'm going to watch Iron Fist while I do admin. All right, okay. It might take me a few weeks. I'm going to watch it so I can fucking trash it. <laughs> under your rules. If you've watched it and you can still trash it, that's fair. Yeah? Yeah. Okay. Give it a go Deal. you've got an opinion. I'm going to. But the first six episodes, wank. They're wank. No, don't. No, do your admin. Do the admin. Yeah, don't wank. Right, okay. Got you. What if I do all three? <laughs> I'd be fucking impressed. <laughs> yeah, you would. <laughs> Colour you impressed indeed. I just want to take two seconds just to plug another Netflix TV show, Ozark. Got to check it out. Phenomenal. What's it about? Uh, <laughs> it's Jason Bateman. Right. Jason Bateman. Uh, kind of doing the whole I suppose you could closely relate it to Breaking Bad he plays a financial advisor who's him and his partner kind of get on the wrong side of the cartel Okay. after a money laundering deal they've got going with them goes wrong Okay. and it's just basically uh, I can't remember, if I say too much I'll spoil it but you got to watch how many apps? Uh, I think there's 10 or 10 Oh, sounds like an awful lot. <laughs> <laughs> Johnny, there's two. <laughs> oh, listen, we asked you to watch a 20 minute episode of something and you, were, you fly out and said no. <laughs> 20 minutes. I was just doing, Not an hour. I was just doing what you do to me. You know, I was like, yeah, but you, you'll say to me, you watch this. this so, it's seven hours long. What you did you guys think it. of Defenders? Did you enjoy it? Did you like the cast? Did you think that Iron Fist really sucked or was actually quite good? Do you think that some of the fight scenes were really clunky? Do you think that they were fast and loose with the powers? Do you think that Madame Gao's fucking badass as fuck? Do you think, Do you think, think I should watch Full Metal Alchemist or give a complete miss? Yes. Cheers, Steve. <laughs> All you got to do is watch one episode, 20 minutes, 20 minutes, 20. You'll be hooked. Maybe. 20 slim minutes. It's not two hours of some indie film that's fucking... I've got to go buy for £17 off some random website that I'm never going to visit. It's on Netflix, ready to go, click. That's all you got to do. Do you think Electra was overpowered? No. Do you think, oh, she, was, come on do you think she was not used correctly? I, I, you really scraped the barrel for puns there. <laughs> well, huh? what, was the, what was the pun? Do you think Electra was overpowered? Powered electric. Uh, I, 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 uh, I thought that was deliberate. All right, okay, it wasn't. I got a good, a good one the other day, though. Um, That's kind of dad joke you well, away with. father-in-law says to me, the tyre in my car needs pumped up. Uh-huh. No, this was a genuine conversation, right? Okay, yeah, yeah. And I says, well, I've got change in my wallet. And he goes, it's not 20p anymore, it's 50p. And I says to him, oh, that's inflation for you. Like that. <laughs> right? <laughs> Two people in the room got it, and then like 30 seconds later, you went, oh, I've just realised what you said. <laughs> I was like, yes. I was quite proud of that. That's like a new low for me. You actually made a dad joke in real life. Yes. 
<laughs> wow, you are a dad joke. <laughs> Turns out it wasn't really because it was like 50p for five minutes, whereas everyone else it's like 20p for like, you get a hundred second countdown, you're like, fuck, I've got to do four tyres in that time. 95 seconds left. I better stop thinking and actually oh go Oh my God, it. it's the worst day. Yeah. Psst, psst. And then you're always, you're pumping the tyre up going, please don't blow up, please don't blow up, please don't blow up, please don't blow up. Please what don't if the gauge doesn't work, it just fucking explodes? I know, it just, no, I think it warps out of shape before it actually goes, gives you time to put the kid in front of you. you know? Yeah, that's true. <laughs> like, 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 uh, like thunder and, um, Showdown Little Tokyo. You've seen that where he just keeps on going bigger and bigger and bigger. He's. Ah! It's a uh, big trouble in Little China. What did I say? Showdown Little Tokyo. You said the Brandon Lee film. Oh, yeah, I said the Brandon Lee one. Oops, ah. my bad. Well, you even got. You still got the reference, so yeah, well done, you. <laughs> right, we should probably do some sign offs. Sure do. So, sign off. Okay, you can find me on Instagram and Facebook, Ian Stobie, and also on Twitter at BigStobes81. Where I'll it. probably be tweeting the uh, McGregor and Mayweather fight as it happens. <laughs> All right, okay, just real quick, who you got? It's a work. It is a work, it's I know, but, but who's going to win then? Oh, I don't know. I don't know. If it was real life, I could see McGregor get his ass kicked by uh, Mayweather because I seen the mess Mayweather made in the big show. Oh so. yeah. <laughs> I think Mayweather. What, did they have a proper boxing match? Like it was supposed to be worked at WrestleMania. Right. But uh, he didn't. Pull his punches. Oh, right. And he broke Big Show's face. Big Show ah. said it's okay to go for it, though. I know, but it was still... But he still, fucking broke his oh, face open. A giant. pretty hard on to watch. Yeah, it was yeah. horrid. And the Big Show tore after him, eh? Oh, that was yeah, scary. Was pissed off, like. Yeah, Mayweather would fucking absolutely rip McGregor apart, but it's a work. And this is the thing. All these fucking kids out there, they're like, oh my God, it's the best thing ever. It's fucking wrestling, motherfucker. The fact that they're both flying on the same jet kind of so there you go is it going to be a rumble in the jet beforehand afterhand who knows I'm going Mayweather anyway if it was a jet you follow Big Stobes 81 if you want to find out the live tweets <laughs> you'll get me at dstobie in the usual places as usual and you'll get us at the Buff Geek Podcast blog dot wordpress dot com over to you big man so who do you think is going to win Big Stobes 81 you'll get five new followers from live tweeting it <laughs> <laughs> okay money's on Mayweather <laughs> Yeah, got to be. Eh? If it's a legit boxing match, it's not at work. Then it is. If it like McGregor's got the speed, he's got all this going. But Mayweather's got the experience. This is his domain. Yeah, it's like Wayne Rooney taking on Andy Murray in a tennis match. It's silly, right? Yeah, Rooney's the highest international goal scorer for England, retired today. Uh, but. Oh, Murray's a tennis that. player, you know. What's that? It was, was it yesterday? Yeah. It broke today. Well, it's um, almost two days ago Monday, now. Is that? Yeah, that's true. Um, but Murray's a tennis player. It's his domain, yeah. you know. So, bada bing, bada boom. Let us know what you guys think of Defenders. Hit us up at all those social media places, and if you forget them, just type in the Buff Geek on anything and you want to find it. Hashtag the Buff Geek Podcast. I'm not some billionaire white boy who takes justice in his own hands.